Good morning, everyone. Greg here, and we're back at the workbench trying to get some progress on the Surf Woody, or I can't remember the Surf Hearse. This is the one I'm doing for the Halloween group build, sponsored by Russell Model Cars. I got to get busy on this. I think the time frame is about half over. So it looks like I got a lot of work to do on this. I did kind of fiddle around a little bit with the chassis and the engine. Just kind of mock up here a little bit. Um, it's a dainty little delicate bugger. A lot of chrome parts. A lot of clean up. But it's going to be a cool looking rig. One of the interesting things I found in the box was this little telephone. So I guess this would show that this kit goes back a ways if it's got an antique telephone. And George Barris, he would have some cool stuff in his cars. So I believe there's a little TV and a tape recorder and oh my gosh, who knows what else is in there. But um, the telephone's got to go in this rig. So I got a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, NASCAR group builds coming to a close here shortly. So I got to button up that project. Hopefully we'll see a final on that. Oh, in the next, by the end of the month, got a little time appreciation build going on. Still fooling around with Street Corvette. I got to do the Blue Ox um, Street Machine project. That one, boy, I got, hardly got started on that. So, what do I do? I go down to Ollie's and I buy something else. Uh, Green Hornet Black Beauty. Oh, my. Let's see this on the shelf. It's just a small beginner kit from the old TV show. $12.99, one thirty two scale. Yeah, it's coming home with me. So, yeah, just what I needed, another cat. But sometimes I get into a situation where I got to take a little bit of a step back from the models and the model cars because I've got so many other things that I get involved with. I got collections of all sorts of things that you wouldn't believe. Um, most of it's just a bunch of nothing, but I did get a collection started a while ago, well, quite a while ago, of these NASCAR haulers. And I'm going to show a couple of them today. This is number five, Hendrix Motorsports, Tony the Tiger, Frosted Flakes. They're great. So, I don't know, I had some of these. They sat in my office for, oh gosh, many years before I retired. Uh, you can see they're kind of faded. But they sat in the shelf, and then I decided I got to clean these up. And as long as I'm cleaning them up, I might as well show them off. So, you can expect to see some different sorts of things on here. Maybe every now and then I'll integrate some other collectible thing that might bore you to tears but i did get this other one um it's basically the partner truck i think there's a Kellogg's cornflakes yellow that goes with it but this one here i just dig this got milk um again this is a terry labani uh car uh the got milk thing well, I spent 42 years in environmental conservation and probably 80% of my people I worked with were dairy farmers. So we had a lot of milk and where we live. So uh, a lot of dairy cows, it's kind of, it was, it's the thing. So this one did come with a little uh, car. I believe it's 164th scale. Uh, maybe it's, a uh, smaller than that. I know I got another whole set of these trucks that are quite a bit smaller. But someday maybe we'll take a look at those. Um, 
I know this video is getting on in time, so I thank you all for stopping by. I thank all my subscribers, uh, all my friends, my family, anybody who stops by. Hit that like button, subscribe, don't cost anything. And we'll catch you on the next video. Go Bells!